What is up guys, Nico here from Balsas Life and for today we're going to test the stabilization of the A7S III. All right, so today I tested out the stabilization of the A7S III. Now, the A7S III has three stabilization modes, two in camera and one in a software post process. Now, the first one is the standard steady shot, which is, you know, the regular IBIS, the physical IBIS. The second one is active steady shot, which if I'm not mistaken, it's the physical IBIS combined with an electronic image stabilization. That's why when you use active steady shot, the image crops 1.1 times. So you get this little bit of crop in your image. And the third one is stabilization through Sony software called Catalyst Browse. Now I did two tests. One is a vlogging test and the other one is me hand holding the camera and taking videos of Joyce. So now let's see the clips of me vlogging with the three stabilization modes along with one clip without any stabilization at all. Okay, so this is a stabilization test um, with steady shot off. Steady shot set to standard. Steady shot set to active. Now steady shot is off, but I cranked the shutter speed up and we'll be stabilizing this in Catalyst Browse. All right, so you can see active steady shot and the image stabilized through Catalyst Browse is, you know, very, very far very superior in quality compared to standard steady shot which to be honest i don't see the difference between standard steady shot and when steady shot is turned off now let's check out this second set of clips with me shooting videos of joyce Again, as you can see, active steady shot and stabilization through Catalyst Browse far superior than standard steady shot. All right, so for my notes, number one, yes, the image stabilized through Catalyst Browse looks better than when active steady shot is used, in my opinion, but I think I will use active steady shot more because with active steady shot i just leave my settings as is um, leaving my shutter speed and my frame rate in the 180 degree rule because if you want to stabilize through catalyst browse you've got to adjust your shutter speed you can't use the normal 1 over 50 if you're using 24 frames per second in my case i used 1 over 160 because if you use the regular 180 degree rule shutter speed, it will give you some wonky, some warping effect in your footage. I don't know why. I don't know the science behind it. All I know is if you are going to use Catalyst Browse stabilization, you have to know that you're going to use it even before you take the shot. It's not like I took the shot without stabilization, steady shot is turned off but you're using 24 frames per second and 1 over 50 shutter speed 
it can't be like that because if you decide later on then you're going to get this wonky image this warpy effect in your footage so you need to know am i going to use stabilization from catalyst browse before you shoot that video so for me i think that's a hassle that's why i think i'm just gonna leave stabilization to active and for me if you really need steady shots let's say for a big project a major project a major shoot then i guess you know i'm just gonna use the gimbal if you have that time to set up if this is something that's really really major i think using a physical stabilizer is better than using catalyst browse one more thing that i noticed is when you export a video from catalyst browse even if it's the same clip if you put it side by side with the original clip the colors change already so in my vlogging test i don't know if you noticed i tried to match the color as close as possible to the three other clips in that sequence I don't know if I pulled it off, but yeah, in editing, you can really see that the color changed when you exported it out of Catalyst Browse. I'm not sure, but I read once in a forum that I think when you export A7 S3 clips from Catalyst Browse, it's no longer 10-bit. It becomes an 8-bit image. I'm not sure. I'm not that technical yet when it comes to, you know, the codex in the sony a7s3 so again for me i'm sticking with active steady shot when using my a7s3 handheld you know if i'm just vlogging if i'm just you know shooting something run and gun i think active steady shot is the best option how about you guys let me know what you think go to the comment section tell me what do you prefer what kind of stabilization do you prefer on your a7 III or the a7c and the sony zv1 which also has i think the same stabilization options as the a7s III so thank you for watching our video here on balsas life if you like this video please hit that like button and if you haven't already please subscribe to our channel hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon also like us on facebook follow us on instagram and we will see you in our next video here in balls is life see ya